I have be been asked by several people to explain all the basics from GIMP and just start with the tools in the toolbox. And I don't know if uh, it will be interesting, but I will be explaining uh, the rectangle select tool and the ellipse select tool, and maybe if I got time, the free select tool and all its options in this video. And hopefully you will um, discover something that you didn't notice before. So let's start with making a rectangle selection like this. And everybody knows how this works. You can make a selection and then drag the handles up and down and to the side and from the corner to make your to adjust the size of your selection. And the same thing goes for your ellipse select tool. When you make a selection, you will also have the same drag handles. So that's all very easy and I think everybody already knew this. But there are also these modes and the um, tool options are the same in the rectangle and ellipse select tool. Almost the same. The uh, rectangle select tool has one more and that's rounded corners. And I will show you what they do now. Um, can go to select none, and you can make a, a rectangle selection with rounded corners. And the bigger the corners, the higher the radius. So I'm going to put the radius halfway somewhere and show you that I can make a selection with rounded corners like this. And if you make the radius higher or lower, and you have to make a new selection, then it looks different. Okay, I'm sorry, very high, and it looks like this with bigger corners. So that's very handy if you want to make rounded corners. And there's also feather edges. And I'm going to make a new selection again. And feather edges means that uh, the edges won't be sharp but will be feathery. And I thought they did. And um, okay, sorry. To show you this, I will fill this in. And then you can see that the edges sort of fade out instead of being sharp and that's what feather edges does and the same thing is possible with your ellipse select tool and then there's expand from center and this will let you make a selection from the center like this see instead of starting at the left top so that's sort of what expand from center does and then uh, there are the modes and these are very interesting and this mode is the one you usually use and know about and how you make a selection and it's just replace the current selection or just make a new selection like this oh I'm gonna untick expand from center sometimes it's handy now it's not uh, but when I've made a selection like this I can also add to the current selection by clicking this one and add this bit to the current selection and now I have an uh, interesting other selection and the same thing goes for your rectangle select tool I can add a bit of a rectangle selection and then your selection will look like this and you can also subtract from oh, an antique feather edges subtract from the selection with this button and this works like this going to subtract this bit from the selection and now your selection works like this and and you can also intersect with the current selection and this sort of means that you can sort of pick a bit of your selection so that I want this bit of my selection and then I select this bit and then I have the one the bit of the selection that I wanted as a new selection and that is what your modes do and make sure one when you have used one of these modes that you go back to the first mode before you go do something else because otherwise the next time you will use GIMP um, you will be and you want to make a selection you think it's on this mode and if it's on any of the other ones you might get confused and wonder why GIMP is acting so weird so always set it back to the normal mode and the last thing I want to talk about is fixed here and I'm going to select none again and with this you can uh, make a fixed aspect ratio a fixed width, height and size and I'm going to talk about aspect ratio and I've set it one to one and that means I can make a perfect square in a selection 
and you can also make a perfect circle like this and as you can see now I've got oh see I didn't sit, set it back and now I have added it to the current selection I should have set it back and now when I make a new selection it's a perfect circle so that's what fixed uh, aspect ratio does and fixed width and height and size well you can work it out yourself so I think I have now yeah talked about all the common options in the tool options about the rectangle and ellipse select tool and I hope this was clear and um, if you if it wasn't then just leave a comment and if you like my videos please subscribe and thank you for watching